The day that I made this beat right here, I was in LA for two and a half weeks doing 16 hour sessions every day. So I started making a beat. I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna get another beat to Skies. And uh, as soon as I made it, Skies was just like, bro, this shit's crazy, like instantly. He sent me a text message, he's like, bro, he got one. And then the engineer hit me, she's like, yo, this is crazy. And it just happened to be the one. Hey, I ain't folding under pressure, I ain't switching for no hoe. I ain't talking to no cop and I ain't telling on my bros. Ain't no killer, but don't push me, fingers itching on that pole. Niggas plotting on my come up, gotta watch they in my nose. Internet producers do everything ourselves. We design our own graphics. We drop whatever beats we want. We kind of develop the industry because all the sounds that we make, the drum kits that industry producers get, the sounds and everything all comes from the internet. So we're like the first people to ride the wave. I started selling beats because I needed money. I dropped down to seventh grade. My mom had cancer. You know, my mom, we've been like poor her whole life, that type shit. So I had to, you know, find ways for to pay her bills. I was making half a million dollars online a year selling beats through tight beats. That was the first dollar I ever had. Never had a job, never had nothing. So the fact that it, the internet made that possible for me selling beats, regardless if I was gonna get placements or not, it's just crazy. Dog. The most important things when making a beat is just feeling, you know what I mean? Like a vibe or a groove or something, like a bounce. When I made the beat, pretty much, I was just going through the kits that, you know, I got from my website, Wave Supply. And, um, finding melodies and different loops and shit like that to work with. And I come across uh, this melody right here. I noticed it like it was just too simple. So uh, what I wanted to do at that point was pretty much find something that adds some bounce to it. So I pulled up the same sample and uh, reversed it. And I mean, that's cool, but whatever I did then, I was just like, it needs more bounce, especially if I'm, I'm just gonna add drums on top of this. So I use this plugin, uh, Filter Freak by Sound Toys, a lot whenever I'm trying to just establish bounce or a feeling in a certain melody or whatever. I used a preset uh, Stepped Up Sweep. It just adds something different to it. So that together with the actual melody, with the effect and everything put on it. What I normally do after I do the melody is straight 808 because it's still a melodic instrument. I just normally follow the, you know, the pattern of the original melody. I didn't use no effects. I didn't put nothing, no compressors. No, I just keep it pretty bare. It's all in the, the actual sound. And the kick pretty much hits on a lot of the same notes that 808 does, but I have the 808 kind of stuttering on certain parts that the kick isn't, and the kick stuttering on certain parts that the 808 isn't. So like together. And then uh, the hi-hat. I used the MIDI kit from my site that Nick Mira made and I literally just dropped the MIDI in there. <laughs> it just worked, you know what I mean? Who am I to say no? And then at that point, I just felt like it needed more bounce. So I added this last thing, just a simple hi-hat. And then you have the whole beat together. People overcomplicate beats. Most of the times, like the most simple beats are the ones that work because it gives the artist the room to get on there and do whatever they want to do. Being in the studio with Skies, what makes him fun is the fact that, you know, a lot of artists would just get in there and make music just for the sake of making music. They don't care what the beat is or whatever like that, but he's very particular, particular in like what he does and he wants everything he touches to be like great in some type of way. So I, I really respect that from him. Of his whole album, this is probably Skies' most like energetic track, you know what I mean? Hey, I it's a good song to open up a show with, a good, good song to open up his album with. And 
I'm just glad I was a part of it. <laughs> There's no favorite lines from that, out, from the song. But he did say, shitting on these haters, you could say I'm constipated, which doesn't make sense. But, uh, alright, dog. 100% skies. Do your thing, boy.